have a big winger, uh, good straight ahead speed, uh, good shot, and goal scoring instincts, and good good vision, hockey hockey sense. I think a lot of that I'll kind of uh, understand more when I get to that level, uh, you know, in the fall at camp and stuff. But uh, you know, I think for for me, a lot of it is just. Uh, Kind of knowing that it's a short leash when it comes to professional hockey because it is a business and uh, you got to be ready to go every day and, and work hard every day. Elisa, she's a she's a nutritionist. She's unbelievable at what she does. Um, a lot of the stuff she talks about is sleep and, and recovery, and then um, on the flip side of that, how to get yourself up for games. So um, you know, just honestly, like certain things you eat in meals and, and stuff like that, kind of go a long way. So it's, um, you know, she does a good job of that, and it's very important. I think uh, you know our new coach last year came in, gave me a pretty good opportunity to play with some good players, and uh, you know obviously if you get the ice time, you got to produce. And you know, I was fortunate enough to you know put up some decent numbers last year, but um, you know a lot of it was about opportunity and just kind of maturing a little bit more and uh, kind of rounding out my game. I've actually I moved out into uh, Rochester Hills. I've been training here since May 27th. Um, and then other than that, I uh, went home for a wedding, a buddy of mine got married, so, um, you know, outside of hockey, that's what I've been up to, and other than that, it's just been training 24-7.